you ever thought, what if I combined two NBA player skill sets and made them into one player? Well, that's what I did today, just with role players. First two players I combined were Jordan Poole and Matisse Thibel, mainly because Jordan Poole's defense is lacking and Matisse Thibel doesn't really have a jump shot, so I thought it'd be kind of like a god. Also, I gave him 99 potential to make this just a bit more interesting. Player, I made the 40 overall, so they don't really do anything uh, throughout the rest of this video, and they're not really important. Next two players I combined were Royce O'Neal and Andre Drummond, mainly because Andre Drummond doesn't have a jump shot at all, and his perimeter defense would be much improved, his ball handling just a bit. I think it'd be a pretty interesting player. Next player is Gary Payton II and Mike Conley. Uh, Gary Payton II is a defensive god, and Mike Conley is already a great playmaker and has a great jump shot. Next one's pretty interesting. I combined Carmelo Anthony, I put him on the Lakers because that's the last team he was on, and Russell Westbrook. Um, Carmelo Anthony's athleticism was pretty crazy now, and now it's like basically Russell Westbrook with a jump shot. I put all players on contracts for five years, so they'll be here the whole video no matter what. I gave all players a 99 shot tendency. And I gave Drummond a three-point shot tendency, so it's not just Andre Drummond taking a bunch of shots. So hopefully they're actually doing stuff, and uh, let's get into it. Year one, nobody for us was an all-star that I could see. Um, Car let's look at the stats. So Carmelo Anthony was averaging 18 points per game, six rebounds, three assists. So pretty good year for him so far. Mike Conley averaging 18 and a half, six rebounds, so a lot of rebounds, and five assists for Conley. Um, Jordan Poole averaging 22 points per game, four rebounds and four and a half assists, and about a steal and a half. Uh, Andre Drummond averaging 19 rebounds, 19 rebounds, 19 points, 11 rebounds, and that's it for him. So I'll see you guys at the yearly awards. Luka Doncic wins MVP. Uh, Paolo Bancaro wins Rookie of the Year. Nikola Vucevic, sixth man. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most improved player, Andre. So he has our first award, and Doc Rivers wins Coach of the Year. Uh, nobody made an All-NBA team for us, so I kind of just scrolled through this pretty quickly unless I saw somebody. Uh, LaMelo did make All-Defensive second team. I thought that was pretty insane. So, at the end of year stats, Carmelo averaging about the same number she was earlier in the year. Nothing really changed for him. Uh, same thing for Conley. He was His stats were actually a bit up. A bit less rebounds, but more assists and uh, less steals, however. So, a bit down for him than when we started. Poole's stats definitely dipped a bit, but otherwise basically stayed the same throughout the year. And finally, Andre Drummond. Drummond stats actually went way up, averaged 20, averaged 21, about 12 rebounds and about two and a half assists. So going into the playoffs, uh, nobody for us was in the play-in, and I'm just gonna tell you guys whatever important games happen and we'll see what happens. Uh, game five, Bucks are up three to one, so we're gonna simcast this one. Pretty important game. Um, the Bucks would stay up for the majority of the first half, and it's a close game going into the fourth, six-point game. So the, bu the the Bulls could totally come back and win this one, but it's not looking like they're going to. And there's just no scoring happening for multiple minutes, and the Bucks just pull away, and they're up ten. And they ended up winning this one. Game six, Blazers are down two to three in the series, so we're gonna sim cast this one. And the Pelicans are just been dominant this whole game, and it's actually pretty close. I should have hopped in, but the Pelicans end up pulling away and they win that one. So this is to go to the conference finals and possibly the NBA finals. And the Sixers are gonna take an early lead here, and it looks like they're going to maintain that lead going into halftime. They're up big early in the third quarter, and they are going to be moving on to the conference finals. Great run for the Sixers so far here. So it's game six here, and the Sixers are up 3-2 in the series. Looks like they're going to be playing the Lakers in the finals if they win. Um, they are they maintain a lead going into, the, going into the fourth quarter, and they are up big, and they're going to be advancing to the NBA finals. It's going to be a Lakers-Sixers finals, so both of our players are in these finals. So Lake, Sixers take game one and game two. Um, they're also going to take game three, so it might be a sweep, and it is a sweep. So James Harden would take away finals MVP. Looking at player progression, it's definitely going to be a bit different than all the other years, but uh, Jordan Poole went up 19 overalls, and uh, so he got way better. Um, Andre Drummond went up five overalls. He uh, was already in AD when we started this, and so I think I changed the player potential because I think I messed it up because Carmelo's already in 90. 
I don't know how. He was like an 80 at the beginning. Um, and Mike Conley, we're going to go to Mike Conley now. Mike Conley <laughs> it went up 18 overalls, and he looks way better than when he did at the beginning. So we're going to hop in, and I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. So at the All-Star break, um, only one of our players was an All-Star. It was Carmelo this year. So now we're going to look at some stats. Andre Drummond averaged 21, 12 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 2 steals. Um, pretty crazy year so far for him. Carmelo averaging 27, 6 rebounds, 5.5 assists on insane efficiency, 47% from 3. Mike Conley averaging about 20 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, 6, uh, six assists, and 2 steals. Great year for him. And Jordan Poole, surprisingly the only player stats who were down. So, pretty interesting so far, and I will see you guys at the yearly awards. Yearly awards, Luka averaged a 40-point triple-double. What the hell? Uh, Will Flowers, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, Dame. So, he was off the bench. That's pretty weird, I guess. So Joel wins DPOI, and Darius Garland wins Most Improved Player. So, those are all the important awards. Looking at the All-NBA teams, nobody for us on All-NBA first team. I guess on All-NBA second team, we have LeBron. On All-NBA third team... Andre Drummond, he had, he had a pretty good year, so it's not a surprise, but he wasn't an all-star. Somehow on All-NBA third team. And Carmelo Anthony, uh, of course, he's on All-NBA third team. Great year for him. Defensive teams, no one for us on All-NBA first team, on All-Defensive first team, but somehow LaMelo is on All-Defensive first team, because that makes sense. On All-Defensive second team, however, we did have Drummond. So simulating the plan, I did not think we had anybody. The Blazers were in it. Sorry, Blazers fans. And the Sixers were in it. Sorry, Sixers fans. So it's game six. Lakers are up 3-2 in the series, so we're going to simcast this one. And the Lakers were up big after the second after the second quarter ended at halftime, and that continued into the third and fourth quarter, and they were going to win this one. So it's game five here of the second round, and the Bulls are down 3-1 in the series. So the Cavs were, it's a pretty close game going into the fourth quarter, but then suddenly the Cavs just pull right away and they're going to win this one and they are headed on to the conference finals game six of this series lakers are up three to two and they're going to be down early but they're going to jump right back up and having a massive lead going into the third and fourth quarter and they are going to pull away quickly in this one as they are going to win this series Moving on to the conference finals, they're going to be facing a rematch with the Memphis Grizzlies. Game 1 goes to Memphis, Game 2 goes to Memphis, and so we're going to simcast this one because it's going to be very vital for the Lakers' playoff run. Lakers are up early, and they will stay up until the third quarter where the Memphis Grizzlies pull away, and it's looking like they're going to win this one with 8 minutes left, so we'll see. Um, slowing down the simcast, Grizzlies uh, maintain their lead and stay up, but look at this, 1 minute they're up by one i have no idea why i didn't jump in there and the grizzlies took a lead and i tried to jump in but it just there's eight seconds left so whatever um so it's game it's game off uh, four and so the grizzlies are trying to sweep them here and the lakers want to avoid a, avoid a sweep and they're going to be up uh, only by a bit going into the fourth quarter it's a close game entering the fourth and it's gonna and the Grizzlies are gonna be up by 10 up by 12 now let's see if the Lakers can pull back it's not looking like it they're down by 11 down by 9 down by 7 down by 6 and I was gonna jump in and I jumped in but then I screwed up because I like did something so now we're jumping in and they're down because they shot some free throws and I didn't really care so now we're gonna jump in and the Lakers are down by 6 uh, inbounded to John Morant John Morant dribbles the ball yep uh, takes the jumper and it's wide open, but rebound by Spencer Dimwitty. Spencer Dimwitty uh, drives it up, but gives it to Lonnie Walker, and that's an easy two buck, two points. I'm great at commentating, I swear. John Morant brings the ball up the court. Uh, tween, tween. Screen by Dylan Brooks, not Dylan Brooks, by Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones uh, getting double teamed back out to Zyra Williams. Zyra Williams gets double teamed to Tyus Williams. Tyus Jones, sorry, takes the three point. Three-pointer, and it's rebounded by LeBron James. LeBron James uh, dribbles dribbles around a nice move. Awful layup, but uh, offensive rebound by LeBron James, and that'll be two more points. So timeout by the Grizzlies, and because they, they've just blown up like about six-point lead when there's like a minute left. So I think they're going to foul because 2K is the glitched, and they are, which sucks, but whatever. So John Morant, he's going to be shooting free throws. 
John Morant's first free throw here is no good. No, no, yes, it is good. I'm smart. Listen, listen, I might know something that you don't, because this one is no good. Oh, dang, timeout Lakers. And they're going to get the ball back with about 22 seconds left to go, so we'll see what shot they take, even though I've seen this play been run a million times, if they even run a play. And it's going to be finally inbounded to Shake Milton, that is, sorry. And Spencer Dimwitty just takes an awful shot, highly contested, almost an offensive rebound by Anthony Davis. And the Memphis Grizzlies are probably going to win this ball game. We'll see. Zyra Williams' first free throw is... Still totally possible, but not going to be easy for the Lakers to win this one. Second free throw is also no good. Lakers could come back and win this one. Spencer Dinwiddie takes another awful shot because Spencer Dinwiddie just thinks he's him. And that's probably going to do it for this ball game. First free throw is good. And I'll see the second free throw. Sadly, the second free throw is also good. So that means the Memphis Grizzlies are moving on to the NBA Finals. So simulating the NBA Finals, it's Grizzlies versus Cavs, and this is going to go to seven games, but the Cavs are going to end up winning. So now we're going to go to player progression. Carmelo Anthony is a 96 overall, and he is the highest of the bunch because he got a bit of an extra boost because I messed up the potential, but it's fine. Conley is a 92, and he went up seven overalls. So And um, then Poole went up five. He's a 92 as well, and I think Drummond is a only a 90, so he's the lowest of the bunch. So I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. So this is the year where... All our players ended up making the All-Star game, and all on the same team, Drummond, Carmelo, Poole, and Mike Conley almost all selected for the same team back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. So, looking at their stats mid-season, Drummond averaging 23, 12, 3, uh, 3 and 1, and a really crazy percentage from 3. Carmelo's stats down quite a bit, actually, but uh, averaging 23, about 7 rebounds and 6 assists, so good year so far for him still. Conley's numbers way up, probably the up the most. Crazy amount of rebounds for a 6-1 guard and 7 assists. Finally, looking at Jordan Poole, he's averaging 24, 5, 6, about a steal and a half. So, pretty good year and pretty good year for everyone. I'll see you guys at the yearly awards. So, here at the yearly awards, someone finally wins, someone different finally wins MVP. It's Garland, Steve Anderson, I don't know who he is, wins a rookie of the year and Markel my man Markel wins six man of the year and Drummond wins DPOI so Drummond's having a great career for us most improved players Mike Conley so really really interesting year so far for everybody here looking at the all NBA teams Drummond is all NBA first team Jordan Poole and Carmelo Anthony are on all NBA second team and finally Mike Conley is on all NBA third team so everybody makes an all NBA team um, looking over the all-defensive teams, Drummond is all-defensive first team, so is Conley. All-defensive second team, none of our players make it, and so no one else that matters. And I checked this time, no one was in the play-in for us, and all our teams made the playoffs. So we will hop in in all the important games, and I'll see you guys there. 3-1 series leads for the Timberwolves over the Trailblazers, so we'll see how this game goes for them. Uh, Timberwolves take an early lead and have a lead heading into the second half. And they will remain that lead, and they are going to blow out the Blazers here in a crucial game. And the Blazers are not going to have much playoff success in this video. Moving on, next game is Bulls uh, Raptors. This is game six, and the Raptors were, I think, up. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, there, it's going to be a pretty tight game here going into the third quarter. And the Bulls, it's a two point game with 10 minutes left, sorry. And the Bulls are going to start to pull away, and they are up big with only 30 seconds left meaning that they are going to win this game. Moving on to the next game. It's go oh, no, sorry, it was game seven. My bad, my bad. See, 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 now I know. I'm professional, okay? So we're going to simulcast this next one, and the Raptors are now up big, and they are going to end up winning this ball game, most likely. I don't know. It's actually decently close, and I'm probably pretty wrong because it's actually tied now. Um, Bulls are pulling ahead actually big time now, and they are suddenly up uh, by six points, and they keep pulling away more and more, and they are going to most likely end up winning this ball game with only 50 seconds left to go. 
So moving on, it's 3-1 series lead for the Bulls, and they're going to win that one. And the Lakers play the Rockets, and we're going to sim cast this one. Pretty important for the, uh, pretty crucial for the Lakers to win this one. And the Rockets just kill them here. Massive lead, 20-point lead. Carmelo Anthony not playing great so far, and they're going to win this game. So that was a pretty pretty important game six, and they're going to lose that one. So the Lakers are going to really need to win this one because they, they need to to move on to the conference finals. And they're just going to choke in these last two games, and they're not going to end up making the conference finals. So the Sixers are going. Sixers and Bulls are playing. We're going to simcast this one because it's a very crucial for both these teams. Sixers to advance and Bulls to stay in it. And the Sixers, pretty close game, but pretty close game for the majority of the time. But they just pull away, and they are most likely going to end up winning this game. And they are going to win this game, Move, advancing them to the NBA Finals for the second time in this video. Oh, I'm um, sorry, I couldn't find the clip for this Finals. I'm really sorry about that. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I know I'm a bit late on it. I want to know how you guys think I did on this video, how you guys like this type of style of video, and who you guys think had the best career. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support you've been giving on my videos recently, and have an amazing day.